Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Instead of going for the Definitely Jace, like that. yeah, they go for another matchup that can be extremely snowbally into the Gnar on the top side. We've seen how volatile and how bad things can go for Gwen in this matchup, even though it's a really strong side lane and delight here on the bottom side of the map. He knows that, you know, it's very likely Malrang is not here. All right, let's see it. The dive coming on in. That's a really nice engage. Showmaker has no summoners. And now they're even looking for Barrel here. Oh, actually missing that last hit, but they still can not stick around. Henna, though, uh-oh. He is going to lose his life for it, and they will trade it back. Chieftain getting low, but he's got a shield. Could have been a little bit cleaner, but Malrong needs to be there to make sure this happens. Otherwise, Dalman Kia can't really pick this fight. Yeah. Curious to see how Dalman win this one if they do, because they're pretty far behind from the lanes. The death sentence is going to miss. And here Canyon. we go. Canyon goes in. They're looking to turn now. The equalizer is big damage on Akkad, and immediately the gangplank is gone, but so is the Gragas. Rift Herald also going to go over to Malrong, but who is going to win this fight here? Showmaker on full health. Lava looking for something to do, trying to assassinate the Volibear, Bear, but not quite able to get it. Finally will. And now they've opened up the front door, but look at Canyon in the back line. He's able to get one. Can he get another? Henna's actually cutting it out, but no, Canyon will pick up the kill. And the meanwhile, Chieftain able to pick up a double, so it is. Canyon, he didn't even have ult there. That was just straight up. Uh, trading against him. Malrong now trying to get something going. They have a ton of CC, but here is Chieftain as well. Big cast comes in, and that's a kill just handed over to Henna. They're cutting down Barrel here with. He does have the flash, and he will not be forced to. <laughs> that was an insane LeBlanc he is, player. Actually, just that LeBlanc hasn't been in the meta for <laughs> quite a while. He's happy. Well, you know, he's in the meta in this game, and it's looking very good for him so far. So we're going to look for the second Rift Herald fight here. Dom Kia way out oh, of position. Yeah, Barrel just face checking here. They do have the Cannon Barrage and the Teleport coming in, and now they're going to get the hook on Ahoya. He's all alone. That's a big Gnar and huge amounts of damage, but no follow-up from the rest of the team. Lava, you can see he's hunting. He's like a shark. He wants to find that food, but... ...control over these objectives. And Dom Kia don't get to play that later part of the game if they lose this much this early. Yeah. It just Bar doesn't matter. Barrel's just not here. Good luck. No no chance. I mean, Malrong, he's not going to just try to jump in there to his death and steal the objective. That's too risky. So they have to give it away, and that's now infernal soul point. Yeah, they can they can throw as many control wards at, towards the Drake as they want, but it's not going to change the reality here. Is This was a Gotta be huge really engage. careful. They're, like, sitting over here looking for hooks. You guys should be behind your turret. <laughs> like, Lava? They don't seem to understand. And Lava's going to show them exactly what he's got to offer. Unbelievable engage there. There was so much potential. They weren't able to set up the big Gnar, but they were able to get that follow-up there. LeBlanc able to get in and get out so safely at such long range. You have to show some respect. Charge comes through here for the Rift Herald. The series. And it, yeah. it's crazy to, to remember what a LeBlanc can do from ahead. I mean, it's crazy because he has a death cap, and, All you know, crazy. he has Ludens. Like, he, he basically has Poke as well as LeBlanc. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go. Barrel's just dead. See you later. This is what I was talking about. You, they don't even get to play the game. No, you don't. <laughs> There's too many tools. There's too many ways to for your whole team to but fall apart. They have to go. They have to try. But Malrong says no. He's a little bit too late on that one. And here we go. Hoya says see you later. That's two more, and Showmaker's going to do an insane amount of damage. Actually gets one kill, nearly looks for another. But at the end of the day, is this going to be the one? Showmaker, he's trying to carry this himself from this far behind against Infernal Soul. Yeah, I think it's time to uh, to just back off as Frederick Brion, and they will. <laughs> Onto the clone. Yeah. He was, like, so proud to call that out. Here's Canyon and Malrong. They're going to find... Uh, Lava, but now it's time for Chieftain to show up. Again, he's the boss of the Rift. Can you Can shut they him put down? him down? They are going to shut him down. Overextended big time here. And we got a teleport Hoya. into Hoya's death. They're going to get one kill, but just like that, three kills on the board, and there's a Baron on the Rift. Yeah, this is where you see the, the macro fall apart here for Fred Breon. Something we talked about before this series, something we haven't really seen in these three games is a big lead tossed into the bin, and this is another one of those moments where you see it happen again. We got very excited for Frederick Brion, and suddenly they're ready to disappoint us here. Oh they're boy. For the steal. They're getting in here as well. The cannon barrage is available. Fate's call. Do you go in? You gotta try it. Go in, okay. They're going in. Barrel's low. They're gonna get the kill and the steal! Delight gets Unbelievable. it! And everybody is in the pit! And Lava's Lava. gonna teleport back into the fight! 
and Fred and Breon, they steal back the game. What an underdog story here. Fred and Breon feel like the protagonist of the LCK right now. He just cannot believe what we are watching right now. This is an overextension. This is how we got to this position in the first place as Lava looks for a pick onto Canyon. Very greedy. He ends up getting picked here. You see the shutdown coming through onto the, the jungle here. Chieftain comes up, he gets picked, gives 800 gold over. And this feels like the beginning of an amazing moment here for Dom and Kia, but then we see what the turn, and we might not get a chance to watch that replay because meanwhile... Oh, we're watching more, and guess what? Equalizer's up again as the burn comes in, and with that Baron, they're going to be able to push down this inhibitor. We got LeBlanc in the top lane looking for a bit more. It's still relatively early in this game, actually, 26 minutes. But they're going to top off a lot of gold from the map, 3,700. Yeah, on this gauntlet as his solo item for so long. And he's going to build into Zonius here as a second, yeah. which is going to be, I mean, arguably it's going to be good for him, but he hasn't even been able to find value with the stopwatch yet. So, I mean, I'm not too hopeful. It's Delight once again. Oh, he's going in there. And he's just been assassinating Barrel all night. <laughs> he wants to hold up that support diff sign in the audience. He'll hope that someone makes it for him. It's going to be another inhibitor that goes down. Fred and Breon, they're looking for yet another win here against Dom One Kia. They're up 10,000 gold. They have the Infernal Soul. Will they? So you're in danger. Yeah. Um, 20 seconds to go before this last fight of the game is going to come online here. Oh Fred and Breon have prior. Barrel's dead. Barrel's dead. I, well, I, we've said that many times in this game. We really have. It's rough when you're dealing with Fates Call Gragas and a LeBlanc and, and a Rumble. Like I said, there's just so many threats. How can you deal with this? Showmaker dies, and again, another big engage comes in from Delight. They backed off for the Elder Drake, but they might not even need it here. Malrong's gonna go down, and Canyon, he's doing his best to clear the wave, but it's a super minion, and that last tower shot isn't gonna kill him, but Hoya might just do the honors I mean, instead. If he gets out, it's gonna do nothing but save his KDA because the Nexus has fallen. Yeah, oh, wants Zonius. that KDA save. <laughs> Got that, oh, he's gonna survive. Meanwhile, the base is dying, by the way, guys. Canyon kind of playing with his food. Down will go the turrets and Hoya, can you do it? Yes, you can. Hits him with the house and the house always wins. Down goes the Nexus. And that is another series win to Freda Freon here as Umpty charges out onto the stage and does a little dance with Chieftain.